Hey guys, TechGeekHD here again with another video, and today I have an application review for you guys. Now I know this seems awfully different from what I normally do on this channel, but after a, or rather an hour long conversation with Apple Care and Apple Customer Support, I was finally able to reset my Apple security questions, uh, and I'm now able to make purchases on my device again. Uh, so actually thus far, I was only able to purchase the free applications on my iPhone, besides for the purchases I'd already previously made uh, before forgetting my reset or, or forgetting my security questions but I am now able to make new purchases. And there's actually a really awesome new application which was available on the App Store which just came out. Uh, and I thought I'd show you guys because it is genuinely something new uh, and something really nice. Uh, now this application is called Blur. Now it is, uh, it's actually on the featured page uh, on the iTunes App Store, uh, and which is really cool. And that's only at the time of making this video. I don't really know and I can't vouch for it for actually still being uh, on the featured page. But at the time where I downloaded it, it was actually on the featured page. Now what Blur allows you to do is create minimal high quality wallpapers for your iOS device. Now how it does this is actually, uh, and the name implies it, by blurring out a photograph. Now as you guys can see here, this is a fairly uh, blurry background. But if if you unblur it all the way, you can see that it is actually uh, an actual photograph, a wallpaper, uh, actually. Uh, and what you can do is just turn up the slider to the point where it starts to blur. Uh, and this is basically a Gaussian blur effect, uh, which does look really, really nice. I'm a fan of blurry backgrounds because it does make uh, your foreground stick out more. Uh, and this is very simple. As you guys can see, there's only like two buttons and a slider in the application. So what you can do here is hit the button on the bottom left and either take a new photograph or choose an existing photograph. Uh, so it does ask you permission to access your photographs uh, and after you grant it you can actually come over here to your photos uh, and choose one which you would like to turn into a wallpaper now this is a photograph I actually published on my Twitter uh, earlier or rather my my tumblr earlier today uh, and if you guys would like you can actually go there and save it for yourself uh, and what it actually allows you to do uh, is create a custom wallpaper now what I'm actually going to do is come over here to the photograph because it isn't actually created for uh, iPhones uh, and I'm just gonna zoom in a tiny bit and then take a screenshot and use that instead so we're gonna come over here to blur uh, and I actually want to let's just choose a new photograph uh, and as you guys can see here I just selected this picture and now uh, you can actually adjust the blur to the point where you think uh, is suitable for your device now I actually like going all the way because it adds a really cool effect you can't really uh, tell what the photograph ever was uh, so if you bring it down to the middle or even like all the way down here you can tell what picture it is and even this is gonna look really nice because your background is gonna be blurred which causes uh, your eye to focus more on the foreground, which in this case are going to be the icons which are in focus. Uh, but going all the way, uh, you can actually adjust this to create different types of wallpapers from a single image. And I think that this is a very cool concept. Uh, now, this application is available on the App Store for a fairly justified price, I might add, uh, of 99 cents. Uh, though I wish it could have been free, uh, honestly, I don't really mind paying the 99 cents for an application that I believe does a very good job uh, in doing as advertised uh, and providing uh, added functionality to your device as well. So it says photo saved, all you have to do is hit OK and then you can go back into your photos application uh, and the last photo in your stream is actually going to be um, the wallpaper that you just saved. Now to set it as your wallpaper all you're going to do is hit the little button down here in the bottom left, uh, hit use as wallpaper and I like setting both. And as you guys can see, uh, the wallpaper has now been set. And in my opinion, does look very, very nice on my iPhone. Now, I am testing this on an iPhone 5, but this application does work just as well on an iPhone 4, 4S. Uh, I believe it works with the 3GS as well, but I'm not entirely sure. Uh, the 5 and the 5S. Now, if you guys enjoyed this application, uh, or uh, rather enjoyed this video review of this application, please do remember to leave a like rating uh, by hitting the little thumbs up button in the bottom left-hand corner of this video. And for more videos like these, as well as more applications, reviews and other videos that you guys think may be interesting similar to this please do let me know by leaving a comment in the comment section below this video because quite honestly I do make these videos for my viewers so I might as well provide content that they want to watch now again guys thank you for watching and as always I'll catch you all in the next video peace